Hi you guys, so I'm going to solve Nielsen circuits problem from chapter 8, um, problem number 7. And in it we're asked to find, we're given a, uh, a parallel RLC circuit, and we're given that the um, inductance is 400 millihenries, and the voltage is 75E to the negative 8000 times cosine 6000D minus 4 sine 6000T. And we're asked to find capacitance, resistance, initial voltage on the, induct, induct, uh, on the circuit, initial um, current through the inductor, and a general equation for the, um, the current through the inductor. Okay, I don't have a lot of room, so that is the problem that we're trying to solve. So, the equation that we have is, net is 75E to the negative 8000T times cosine 6000T minus 4 sine 6000T volts. The format, by looking at the general equation for voltage, we can see that this is the general equation for the natural response of an underdamped circuit, parallel connected circuit. So, knowing that tells us that this here is going to be alpha, oops, alpha, and this is going to be omega d. So, and then that's because the natural response um, takes that format, cosine omega d, for, uh, sine omega d, and um, e to the negative alpha. So we have two equations that we can use. We know that alpha is equal to 1 over 2RC. We know that omega naught is equal to 1 over the square root of LC. And omega D is equal to the square root of omega naught squared minus alpha squared. Okay, so that's what we have so far. This equation isn't going to help us because we currently don't know what resistance is. We don't have enough information. So can't do it with two, um, two unknowns of one equation. This we know the inductance. We have the uh, inductance. And omega naught can come from in here since we know what this is. So that we can solve for omega naught. And the, therefore we can solve for capacitance. So that's what we're going to, this is the equation that we're going to use. So. We have omega d is equal to the square root of omega naught squared minus alpha squared. Okay, so let's plug in the variables that we know. We know that omega d is going to be 6,000 from there, and that's going to equal the square root of omega naught squared, whatever that is, minus 8,000 squared. Okay. I'm going to bring everything out of the radical by squaring both sides. Okay, that's going to give us 6,000 squared is equal to omega naught squared minus 8,000 squared. Okay, when you put it into the, your TI-89 or your calculator, you should come up with omega naught squared is equal to 100 times 10 to the 6. Okay, from there, so we have um, omega naught squared is equal to 10, 100 times 10 to the 6. Take the square root of that, find omega naught. Well, actually, don't take the square root of that because omega naught squared is 1 over LC because omega naught is 1 over root LC. So 
let's just leave it in that form. That gives us 100 times 10 to the 6. Cross multiply. We have 1 over 0.4 C is equal to 100 times 10 to the 6. C then is going to be 1 over 400 millienries, 0.4, times 10, 100 times 10 to the 6th power. And that should give you 25 nanofarads. Okay, that's the answer for, for part A. Now for part B, they are asking us to find resistance. Um, we're going to use the same concept. We know what alpha is. Now that equation is going to come into play. We have alpha is equal to 1 over 2 RC. Well, now we have the capacitance as 25 nanofarad. We know that. Then we have enough information to solve, which is simply is an algebra problem at this point. R is going to equal 1 over 2 alpha C. And that is going to be 1 over 2 times 8,000 times 25, 25 nanofarads. Put that into your calculator, and you should come up with a resistance of 2,500 ohms. And that is the answer for... Sorry, YouTube does not give me very much time, so I have to monitor the time. Okay, I'm going to turn this off because the next problem is going to take some time and we'll do this in parts. So there you have part, uh, the answer for A and the answer for B.